Good evening ladies and gents and welcome along to another unit review video. So if you have not actually checked out any of my other unit reviews yet, go back onto the channel. There are a few on there now covering a load of different units which are currently in the game. Some underutilized, some you never really ever see and some you're going to be questioning if they are even worth it. And that is definitely going to be the case with the one that I'm covering tonight. So the Iron Reapers, just a quick introduction to the Iron Reapers, who they are and where you can find them. So they are the only melee unit on the unit tree. So these guys are unlockable using honor. Now to get these guys you have to go all the way down the Imperial Pike route and the Palace Guard route, unlocking every node and everything on the way down there as well. Already makes them very, very costly as a unit to get and then them themselves are 25,000 honor is fairly costly to get and you are probably going to be sat there likely thinking is it worth my time and grinding all that honor to actually get and unlock these guys or am I going to be better off actually doing some seasonal challenges to get things like Silla Hadars or anything like that. I want to go into the Iron Reapers, I want to tell you about their weaknesses, their strengths and actually I'm going to give you a bit of a, a, bit of a synopsis at the end of actually are they worth getting so just hold on for that one so the iron reapers like i said are the only tier 5 melee units on the unit tree you have to get these guys off the unit tree now these guys originally were the big heavy hitting guys that whenever you did see out on the battlefield you would instantly run away from them because they were scary to see now these guys come wielding a flail or a sword if you are fighting against Iron Reapers and you see them playing with the sword, then the person playing those guys does not know how to use them because the flail is really the only way to use these guys. They have a fair bit of defense, they have a fair bit of attack. Their attack predominantly is blunt and it does have a little bit of piercing on that as well, but the predominant factor is blunt from their flail. Obviously, if you do use the sword, that is slashing damage. Like I said, if you're using them with the sword, you are definitely not using them right. So you get 16 per unit and they cost 320 leadership. Their speed is 3.8, they're very, very slow. Um, they're pretty good all over the place, except in the step kind of maps. Uh, and like I said, their attack is is okay. Their defense is pretty good as well. Uh, they are dual wielders. Like I said, you can either use sword or flail. Definitely use the flail. Uh, they inflict blunt damage. They have very heavy armor. They're insulated, so actually they uh, take less damage from fire, but they are very, very slow. They're not only slow to actually move and maneuver about, but they're very, very slow attack rate, which really really lets them down so going down the veteran seat bonuses i'm just going to show you how i have actually built mine is the best way of doing this so if you do actually decide to unlock these guys you want to be putting in blunt damage uh icons uh, doctrines even blunt damage doctrines assassination if you've got them as well and then a defensive one like health or a certain defense i've put health because actually i feel like having a little bit more health on these guys is going to be better than a particular armor type because you never know what you're actually going up against in battle look at the veterancy line if you want to build iron reapers all the way up to level 30 do it this way so the bottom line go all the way up until you get the heal skill the heal skill is actually quite useful it gives them a little bit of survivability. You can run them into a corner somewhere and just kind of hide, heal them up a little bit. Go across the top line as well a little bit. So you just want to be putting four points into this top line here because actually it's a little bit better than going down this way. You are going to be wanting really that crit value for the extra damage and then that 2% uh, extra damage defense for all defenses quite useful but this is the main line you want to be going down this middle line here all the way up until you get the butcher's bill uh, node right at the end where it increases blood damage by 8% plus changes the appearance as well to actually something fairly cool now I've got a custom skin on these guys at the minute I'm just, just take this off just so you can see them in all their glory however I do prefer the skin I had them on uh, but <laughs> These guys are, or these guys were very, very good. Nowadays, they 
are not and I would say you probably do not want to be building towards these guys on the unit tree until at the very least you've got like the winged hussars the monastic knights and everything and the cavalry trees unlocked these guys will not help you out much in battle nowadays so I played with them a fair bit this morning trying to record this footage which you're seeing right now they do do a lot of damage on that charge. If you manage to get them into the flank or into the rear, they do do a lot of damage very, very quickly. But actually, after that initial charge and burst damage, every attack takes ages for them to kind of swing that flail about. And if anybody's got a bit of speed about them and actually are looking at the battlefield and understanding where to go, they are very easily dodged, these guys as well. They take ages to get anywhere. They take ages to swing their flail. Like I said, flail is the only way really you want to be building these guys. The sword is even worse in terms of damage and everything as well. I personally would suggest going towards the Saladars. They're far more far more useful nowadays than the reapers which is a real shame the reapers i think are still like still seen as like the top tier melee unit but the reason why you don't see a lot of people using them is because there are such better options nowadays i would personally prefer to take azaps or paladins over these guys because i actually genuinely feel they are going to benefit me a much better amount than the reapers the reapers cost a lot of leadership and they don't give you a lot in return unfortunately i love playing these guys back in like the earlier seasons where they were still the real big boys of Conqueror's Blade. Nowadays they need a massive buff. There is a reason why no one really ever plays these guys anymore and you never see them in territory wars or anything like that. It's just because there are just such a better units out there which is a real shame because they are definitely one of my uh, definitely one of my favourite units but favourite units of seasons gone by not favourite units of now which is a real big shame. I'm still glad I got them up to 30, I'm still glad I actually maxed these guys out and in the time I was playing them they were very useful but nowadays I haven't actually, like genuinely I haven't played these guys for about 6 months just because I would rather take Paladins or Azaps or Silhardars in, all of which are just better, they have better leadership, they have better skills and they're just all round better units. These guys, like I said, their initial charge burst damage is very very good, like I was critting for like 6k on some of the hits but then once that initial charge attack is done, they are literally just sitting ducks, they're just sitting there and getting ploughed against by pikes and swords and archers and they just, they die very very quickly because everyone seems to target them as well. Real real shame, um, but yeah the too long down raid is I would not suggest going down the unit tree getting these guys at the minute, I would definitely suggest going down the unit tree of the calf and getting things like winter sars or the fire lancers which you can then promote up to the Laos rangers. Or you go down to the Monastic Knights. I would say probably get the Winged Hussars first, then the Monastic Knights. Unlock the Layout Rangers by doing the Seasonal Challenge, but actually... <sighs> Even even just having the base Fire Lancers unit, I think actually would be more useful <laughs> than the Iron Reapers. It's a real shame. It's a real, real shame. Like, it, it, Imperial Pike Guards definitely worthwhile getting those, so get that far on the tree. Even the Palace Guards nowadays, they have had a bit of a buff and they are a lot better. Still, I wouldn't take these guys over Paladins or anything like that, but definitely go back and check my Palace Guards video for the unit reviews to actually have a proper in look depth at the Palace Guards. But yeah, the two long raid Iron Reapers are definitely not worthwhile at this current time. Thank you very much for watching folks, I hope you've enjoyed this one, I hope this one has kind of opened your eyes up a little bit to the Iron Reapers as well. Let me know down in the comments below what unit you want me to cover next. Now I'm really enjoying doing this series because it's making me actually go back and look at units that even I have forgotten. Definitely let me know down in the comments below what unit you want to see next Sunday in this kind of review type video. Thank you very much for watching folks, I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit that share button, leave me a comment down below, hit that like button and I hope to catch you out on the battlefield.